watching the engagement with the kids, watching students learn who, um, in some cases we have students who are way low economically and who have always been convinced that they can't do it. Well, if you put the right tool in their hand and if you structure it the right way, they can do it. And that sense of success, that little light bulb, that little wah moment, it, it's awesome. That's why I'm here. That's what I do. Well, you know, I think when we first started down this path, we were looking at uh, really looking at engagement. One of the things that we saw was, you know, we have a large, large proportion of kids who struggle with reading. Uh, but yet, when you look at their uh, IQs and cognitive ability, we should only have one or two that struggle. And so, why are they disengaged? Uh, why are they hating coming to school? And so that's really where we started down the technology path was just engagement. Kids have these technology tools at home and they have them in their pocket in the form of cell phones, but yet they were coming to school and we were asking them to power down and kind of disengage. And so that really kind of sparked us, you know, what can we do with these devices? How can we utilize them in class? Uh, and kind of re-looking at technology that way. I think it's the portability of the iPad that's important. Um, one of the, the advantages of being able to walk around the room is monitoring engagement and just classroom management. You can't be in one place and manage a classroom. You have to be around to manage a classroom. So that's where the iPad is so handy. Um, and having a student then, a wiggly student or a student who typically isn't engaged, putting them at my desktop computer to use those tools they have to stay engaged because the class is focusing on what they're doing and they want to step up. So then you can get students who typically would be wiggly and not engaged, way more engaged with those tools. Yeah, so we, you know, it was funny. I think we were doing Flip before Flip became popular. You know, teachers started pre-recording because there's no content in any of these industry standard uh, programs. So the teacher, uh, we got, um, we got screen capture software and the teachers came up with the projects they wanted their kids to do and then they filmed themselves actually creating those projects and broke them up into steps. Except we're doing it different. We've, we've tried some flip model where we create the videos and we expect the kids to watch them at home, but because we're not in a true one-to-one -one and we're not providing the device, um, we weren't seeing a huge participation in that. So where we've kind of modified the flip is we're doing it all in class. They're watching the video and doing the project or the work in class and then the teacher truly is free to more facilitate. So I, I still think that's a version of flipped is just kind of our, our modification of it. Because we can do cross-curricular activities. We have tons of technology that allows us to do small group instruction and whole group instruction where they're able to work on their own, they can publish their own work, they can upload to Moodle so other students can see it at home, and it's just, the technology is awesome. I will use TabCam, um, I'll set it up on the desk and I'll do what I'm teaching, put the lesson there if it's a worksheet, I'll let the kids write in on it. Sometimes I'll take the TabCam to where they're working and we'll project their answers on the screen and we'll talk about do we agree, disagree, do we need to add more information. I use almost everything. I use the highlighter, the pointer tool, I'll use the writing tool. Um, I can record. Being able to flip into the whiteboard mode is also awesome because if I have a worksheet but I need to go into more detail, I can just switch back and forth really quick. And I can move it to wherever we're going and the kids love being able to show off their work. Um, being able to write on the worksheets, having the worksheets go to the iPad is awesome. I can upload them to Moodle, so if someone's absent, they can watch them, and also if I need to replay something or I'll tell them, go back and study this as homework, they can go back and review. Next year, I'm looking to use it in small group stations, so it'll actually be a station, so I can be reteaching and enriching, and then that'll be a separate station that they'll be able to run by themselves. And we'll also be able, next year, once we get started, they'll be able to record their labs, and they'll be able to have look at other kids' labs and see what they're doing. And, and it's for uh, the love of students. I mean, we truly have a passion for students and their learning. And a lot of what, like what Ms. Hines was saying earlier, of the kids having those aha moments, 
uh, really priceless. I think that's what has kept a lot of teachers here still doing the job is because of those things. Uh, so for me, I kind of thrive, not only seeing kids get that aha moment, but I really enjoy being on that, uh, that cutting edge, that bleeding edge. Uh, I really kind of thrive at that point.